bench press is one of the most popular exercises in weight training today. Uh, the problem with this exercise being one of the most popular is that most people are either doing it incorrectly or trying to add on too much weight too soon. Now, so many men and women wanting to firm up and tone their chest today, it's important we learn how to do this exercise correctly and properly. Now, the reason this is important to you is because the majority of people at some point in time in their life are going to go in the weight room and have some formal type of training. And for whatever reason, people seem to gravitate towards the bench press, so we need to learn how to do this exercise correctly. Now, the first thing I do want to do is show you the equipment you will need to execute the bench press properly. Now, you're going to need a firm, sturdy bench that you can lie in supine position on, like you see here. And then you're also going to need a barbell. Standard weight is 45 pounds, but if your strength isn't there yet, they, companies do have lighter options. Now the other thing you need is a rack, not only the stand, but the hook you see here holding the barbell, as well as the safety clip, which will hold on the weight plates you see to my right uh, securely. Now, the proper equipment you need does not have to be exactly like this. Uh, in your home personal gyms, or even at the gym where you go to in town, it doesn't have to be this big, this expensive, fancy, whatever you want to call it. Okay, this is a multi-exercise rack, you can do many of the lifts in it, is why it looks this way. So as long as you have the basic standards and it's safe equipment, then you're going to be able to do the bench press just fine. Uh, the first thing I am going to do is show you how to properly execute the bench press. But I do want to make a note that you always want to warm up first when you're going to work out. Now, the reason you want to warm up first is to let the muscles in the body get loose, you want to warm the blood up and things of that nature. But I'm going to show you first how to execute the bench press because if I just jumped in on a warm up set, and for people who haven't done the bench press, they might not know why are his hands here, why are his feet here, and things like that. So I will show you first how to properly execute the bench press, and then I will talk about how to warm up properly so you can avoid injury. <clears throat> and yes, I did warm up before this video was filmed. I know some of you are wondering, I saw the worry in your eyes, so don't worry about that, I'll be just fine. The first thing you want to do is lie in supply position on this bench with the five points of contact. You want the back of your head, the middle of your back, which is your trapezius muscles, your gluteus maximus, or your buttocks, and both feet properly placed in the ground. You want a pronated grip overhand like this, supinated would be underneath. You want a pronated grip with firm wrist, shoulder width apart. Okay, once you have yourself in all these positions, then you can properly execute the bench press by lifting the bar off the rack and bringing the bar to the appropriate nipple level. Now, you don't want to just let the bar drop. You want the bar to pull down like you were rowing and then push back up in the opposite reverse manner. You want to pull the weight down like you're rowing and push back up. Okay? And however many reps and sets and things of that nature that you're going to do. So, as you can see, the bench press is a relatively simple workout, but the reason it needs to be explained is because most people don't take these precautions and don't do these little steps right from the get-go. They just come and lay on the bench, try and throw some heavy weight on, and then they end up getting themselves injured. Okay? So that's what the thing you need to realize. Take these precautions. Take these little steps so you can avoid a big injury. Now I do want to show you how to warm up properly. And the first thing you want to do is warm up with about 10 to 15 repetitions of push-ups or 10 to 15 repetitions with just the bar. The reason being, you don't want to go heavy because it is your first warm-up set and you also want to get the muscles warmed up, get the blood going, everything like that. So again, you don't want to be heavy on that. And you just really want to work the muscles that you're about to work out. You don't want to go over and hit a bunch of curls and then come work the bench press if that's not really going to get your chest warmed up. Again, 10 to 15 push-ups or 10 to 15 reps is just the bar. I choose the bar for this first warm-up set. Nothing changes just because it's warm-up. You get the five points of contact, your feet are planted in the ground, hands are shoulder width apart with a pronated grip, and you do your 10 to 15 reps. Now just because it's a warm-up set, doesn't mean you sling the weight around. You still have slow controlled movements the entire time until you complete all your reps. And that's your first warm-up set just to get things going to get the blood moving. Your next set, you do want to add on moderate weight, nothing extremely heavy, but you do want to put some strain on the muscle so you can uh, progress through your workout, your warm-up, and then also put a little extra strain, like I said, so your muscles can get used to the heavy weight that is coming. Again, moderate weight, but you're only going to go to about 5 to 10 reps. And you do want to wait about 30 seconds to a minute between each warm-up set. Okay, so once that time has passed, nothing's changed again. You lay back down on the bench. Five points of contact. Feet are firmly placed in the ground. Hand shoulder width apart with a pronated grip. Lift the bar off to the appropriate level and get you 5 to 10 reps. Again, nothing's changed just because it's a warm-up set. You don't sling the weight around. You don't do any of the things.
anything like that. And that's your second warm-up set. Your third and final warm-up set, you do want to put on relatively heavy weight. About 60 to 65 percent of the weight that you will be doing in your actual bench press set. The reason being, you don't want to go from an empty bar to loading up 300 pounds onto the bar where your muscles are cold, they're tight and not ready, and then you end up tearing something before you can get your first repetition completed. Now, again, 60 to 65% of the weight that you will be doing during your bench press set, but you only want to do three to five repetitions this time. You don't want to tie yourself out, but you do want to put some strain on the muscle, use some heavy weight, and get ready for the weight that is coming. Again, lay on the bench, five points of contact, feet are firmly planted in the ground, hands shoulder width apart, eyes below the bar, and you want to lift and do your three to five repetitions. Appropriate level. After you rack that weight, you are now warm and ready to perform the bench press. Now, to sum things up, with so many men and women wanting to firm up and tone their chest these days, it's important to learn how to do this exercise correctly and properly. And uh, today I showed you how to properly bench press. I showed you the equipment you will need to use the bench press. And I showed you how to warm up properly so you won't hurt yourself in the future. Now, the last thing I want to leave you with is that you don't need to walk into a gym and put on 500 pounds to try to firm and tone up your chest. If you come into a gym, you use the low weight that you can accomplish right off the bat, and you use the proper techniques and form I showed you today, and your strength will increase, and you will reach your fitness goals over time. But most importantly, you'll keep injury-free and have a long-lasting lifting career. Thank you.